Artificial intelligence is changing the world as we know it, and so is blockchain. And when you put the two together, the potential for truly game-changing technology is unlimited. Now, if you're trying to become a blockchain developer in 2025, then AI is a must-know skill. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to leverage the power of artificial intelligence to code blockchain applications. I'm gonna explain all this as a blockchain developer myself who works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to code blockchain apps with AI in 2025. But really quickly, an announcement if you're a developer or an aspiring developer who wants to capitalize on this massive blockchain trend in 2025. Very soon on May 15th, I'm launching the ultimate training for blockchain developers, the Blockchain Bootcamp version 3. Inside, we're going to use AI to develop blockchain applications, and you're going to get a little taste of what that's like in this video today. But if you're serious about becoming a blockchain developer in 2025 and you don't want to get left in the dust by AI, then make sure you hold your spot for the Blockchain Bootcamp V3 launch on Thursday, May 15th. Go ahead and click the link down below and enter your email to hold your spot. All right, so let's get back into the video. How can you use AI as a blockchain developer? Well, there's all types of different artificial intelligence out there, okay? You've probably seen stuff like chat GPT. You've probably seen stuff like artificial intelligence image generation, all right? But really the core technology that you want to focus on as a blockchain developer is with large language models or LLMs, all right? So basically this is the core technology that powers something like, you know, chat GPT, all right? And this is what's really going to help you as a developer. So, so what are they? Well, basically it's an artificial intelligence that, uh, you know, understands human uh, speech and human text or human like text and then responds also in human text and human like text. Okay. So, you know, you can basically talk to it, ask it for specific things. It'll spit you back things like English or whatever language you're using it in. But the important thing is when I say human like text is it also understands human readable source code. So like Solidity for smart contract development or JavaScript for application development or Python or whatever coding language you use, the machine can actually understand it and it can write it and give it back to you. Now, the chat bot itself doesn't actually run the code, but it can give you the answers that you can use to plug into your own code to use it. So what are some different ways to integrate AI into your workflow? Well, I'm going to talk about specific ways and how to actually use it to build apps here in a second, but let's talk about how to actually interface with it. So one way is basically just use a language model directly. You can go to chatgpt.com and just use the chat bot, you know, directly. It's free. You don't even have to log in to start using it today. And you can ask it to do coding tasks. It can give you back the answers and then you can go translate that and put it into your text editor and actually run it. So another way to sort of level this up, instead of like talking to an AI in a separate application and like copying and pasting the results and putting it back in your text editor, you can actually use a text editor plugin to use an LLM that understands your code. It can write code for you and you can chat with it directly inside of your text editor. So a plugin that's really popular like that would be something like, uh, you know, Copilot. All right. So if you already have an editor like Visual Studio Code and you like using VS Code and you basically just want to put a chat bot right in there that can understand the code that's in your editor and you can talk to it and ask it to do things for you, then that's a really great upgrade there. But if you want to take it to the next level, you can also use a full on AI code editor. All right. So if you don't have a preferred text editor or you just like trying new things. Uh, this is one way to do it as well, is basically just use a text editor that has AI built into it. And that's what cursor is for, okay? So basically you can see the cursor, you've got your code on one side, you've got your chat on the other side. It can actually look at your code and make modifications. It can compose things for you. It's a really powerful platform. And it's a really preferred tool for lots of people who want to do all this straight inside their editor. All right, so some of the top ways to actually use this AI technology to create blockchain applications is number one, to just write code from scratch, okay? So especially when you're talking about code that is kind of a predictable output, all right? So let's take smart contracts, for example. So like when you're doing something like creating a cryptocurrency, let's say an ERC-20 token, all right? So a lot of those things are solved problems and you don't really need a lot of sophisticated coding in order to create one of those from scratch. In a lot of cases, you can use a library, okay? But this would be a perfect case to have an AI create something like this for you, okay? So you could just grab a prompt that's like create a Solidity ERC-20 token with 18 decimal places called DAP token with a symbol DAP 
with no external libraries and boom, it'll just spit out the source code for something like that for you. Okay, you can pop that into a, you know, an editor like Remix and deploy it to a blockchain with a few clicks of a button. You could pop it into a hard hat project and actually build on that if you need a token to build other smart contracts, okay? You can also talk to the AI and be like, hey, I'm trying to create a savings and lending application. Can you kind of help me walk through the steps of doing something like that? Here's what I want it to do. Let's look at the code together. It can kind of help you build it iteratively step by step. You can put it back in your editor, change the code yourself, tell it what you did differently. Or if you have it integrated back in your code editor, it can watch what your changes were and absorb those. And actually you can work together side by side and do something like that. So that's one way is basically to create, uh, you know, code just from scratch. All right. But it, you might have already known that. But here's one of the ways uh, that I think the AI is massive for especially new developers, all right? And that's with basically error handling, all right? So this is way number two. So what does that mean? Well, one of the most common ways that people get totally frustrated when they're learning to code is they see error messages, all right? So let's say they're trying to run a command on their computer and then boom, an error happens and it's this, like their screen fills up with all these like characters and a stack trace that they don't understand. And then like, what do I do? So your first instinct might be to Google that error message, all right? And then hopefully somebody has an error that's as similar to yours that Google can pick it up on something like Stack Overflow or on like GitHub issues or something like that. And you can kind of interpret what they're saying. But even if you find what someone's talking about, okay, you may not have the vocabulary to understand what their fix is, all right? So this is where an AI can really come into play. You can give it very deep context, like, like explain the problem to AI. Hey, I was doing this task. This error message came up on this app on my computer. Copy and paste the error message in here and say, hey, I'm learning. I don't really understand what this means. Can you explain this to me like I'm five and help me triage a plan to fix it? Can we troubleshoot this step by step? And you'd be surprised at how quickly that can get you unstuck because one of the most common things for new developers is that they're banging their head against the wall trying to get through error messages and they don't really know what they are, they just freak out when they see them. And the AI can actually really help you get to the bottom of some of those types of things and help you get the fix and actually understand what the underlying cause is in the first place. Because, you know, when you're trying to learn to become a developer, obviously you want to get the skills and not rely on AI to write code for you. But AI can be super duper helpful when you're trying to get these error messages. All right. So another way that AI can really help you as a blockchain developer, especially is with front end development. Okay. Now on this channel, I teach you how to become a full stack blockchain developer with an emphasis on the blockchain side of things, of course. So if you want to go out there and create your own project, obviously you need to be able to learn how to write programs for the blockchain with smart contracts or Solana programs, something like that. And that's the, really the core essential skill. But then you need to be able to create user interfaces that actually talk to those because at the end of the day, most other people are going to be using these applications but through a UI, whether it's a mobile app, on the website, something like that. So you've got to have something that lets people talk to the applications that you created on the back end side of the blockchain. And that's where front end development comes into place. You know, front end is what the user sees. The back end is what the user doesn't see, but fundamentally makes your application work on the blockchain. Now, as a as you get better as a blockchain developer, you're probably going to rely more and more on your own coding skills to actually architect things like smart contracts and smart contract systems. Maybe you'll use some AI to assist you in that process, but you want to really architect most of that on your own. However, whenever you're going to create an application that other people can use to talk to it, maybe you just want to create a front end so that other people can demo your project. That's a perfect use case for AI, okay? And you can use AI to create front ends with a lot of different ways. You can have it create an entire front end application from scratch. You can give it the ABI of your smart contract, you just, or you can give it the source code of your smart contract. You can tell it which programming frameworks you want it to do and just say, hey, here's the app that I created. Can you create a front end application for me in React.js or Next.js, okay, that does this, 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 this. Here's basically what I want it to look like. And it'll create something for you that's functional. Now, it may not be, you know, exactly what you want it to be, but it can get it working quickly. Or if you are coding out your own front end application, how you want it to with your own framework, you can also use AI to skin your application really quickly, all right? You can basically give it the source code of everything that you created and say, hey, 
write me CSS for this application to make it pop with this theme, XYZ settings, and it can level up your application really fast. All right, the last major way to use AI for blockchain development is with smart contract auditing. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this is, basically auditing is ensuring that your code doesn't have any vulnerabilities that could cause it to get bricked or lose money or get hacked or something like that, okay? So, you know, security auditing exists through all of software development, but it's particularly important with blockchain because when you're writing something like smart contracts or programs that get run on the blockchain, uh, these by design are immutable, which means that the code cannot change. So whenever you put the code out there, you know, it's there forever, whether it's got bugs in it or not. So the last thing you want to do is create an app that you can't update and it's got a problem with it and people can brick it or steal all the money or whatever, okay? So that's why that's where smart contract auditing comes into play. The last step in the equation, once you've written the code, you've tested it, you make sure everything works properly, okay? As you hand it off to somebody else, typically an auditor, all right? And that person essentially, or a team, uh, reviews the code very slowly, very carefully, uses lots of different tools and actually goes through and try, he tries to see if there's any problems with it. And of course, he writes your report and help you fix it if there are. But at the end of the day, you want a clean audit report before you go on chain. So this is where uh, some, uh, AI can come into play. So you can approach it from both angles. If you are a developer and you just want to learn more about security vulnerabilities and, and be security minded developer before your code gets passed off to an auditor, or if you want to learn smart contract auditing as a skill in and of itself, you can use AI for this. So one way, let's start off the first use case. Let's say that you're going to hand your code off to somebody else eventually to get audited or you're just creating your own project, okay? Well, you can basically just take your source code, pipe it into a language model and say, do you see any security vulnerabilities here? If there are, explain what they are. That's the pretty low hanging fruit, all right? And a lot of times developers just want this because they don't understand you know, a lot of the things that they could be introducing into their smart contracts, okay? And that's some low-hanging fruit. And of course, you want to do that step before you pass it off to a security auditor, because if a security auditor can just do that as their first preliminary step, they're going to say, hey, this person didn't even take the two seconds to pipe it into chat GPT to see if there's a problem. I found this instantly, right? So you want to do that due diligence before you hand it off to somebody else. Now, on the other side of the things, if you want to learn the skills of becoming a security auditor, okay, and it, whether that's to do that as its own skill or you want to augment your blockchain development skills, then you can use AI, of course, to look for vulnerabilities in smart contracts. You can use it to teach you about vulnerabilities in smart contracts. You can use it as an essential auditing tool in your tool belt while you're doing this job. All right. So those are some different ways to use artificial intelligence to code blockchain applications. So this is by no means a comprehensive list of what you can do with AI and blockchain. There's so many things you can actually use to mend the two together to actually create artificial intelligence based blockchain applications. So if that's something that you're interested in, okay, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure you hold your spot for the blockchain bootcamp version three launch on May 15th, okay? Inside, we're gonna be using AI extensively to develop blockchain applications, but if you're serious about becoming a blockchain developer in 2025 and don't wanna get left in the dust by AI, then make sure you hold your spots linked down below. So that's all I've got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside.